I have a two year old kid and that's pretty awesome. The way she sees things is so much different than I see things. Um, it, it brings things back to light actually when you, when you see her noticing something for the first time. And, um, it's awesome to watch my daughter grow up right before my very eyes. To see her take on the characteristics of both her mother and I, but then to also be developing her own personality. Life is amazing with her. It's so cool to be in the trenches experiencing life with her, learning and teaching with her. You know, she's two now, so it's her wanting to do the teaching and me wanting to do the learning. So my goal as a dad is to do, to the best of my ability, whatever I can do to model this unconditional love of Jesus. Because the last thing I want is for my daughter to be this, you know, to feel religious around me, to feel like she has to have this behavior modification to um, make me be pleased with her. Um, I want her to be able to respond to Jesus because she truly feels it deep in the core of who she really is. Not out of um, acting or something that she thinks she has to do. You know, when I think about Christmas, it's like my day-to-day -day walk now. It's not just Christmas, thinking about, you know, Jesus and his unconditional love, but it's that every day. Don't get me wrong, Christmas is special in that um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a day to obviously reflect on Christ coming, you know? It's a season, a time frame where families and friends get together and celebrate and give gifts and have awesome food. And, um, but I think it's a cool experience to be able to have you know, all that with that mindset of the true reason for that season, which is Christ coming for us and, and ultimately dying for us um, so that we could have, you know, life unlimited.